I'm telling you right now, it's a squat. No, I'm just kidding, it's not a squat. Everybody does a squat. What up, what up YouTube? So today I'm gonna to be talking about the most underrated exercise in my opinion for the lower body and it is not a squat because everybody does squats. It is a split lunge or a split squat, okay? Some people call it one way or the other, it doesn't really matter. But the split squat is super important because it is a single leg movement and it's also a lunge movement. And so a lot of people will do squat movements, but that's only one movement pattern you need to cover for your program. And so lunge is gonna be the other movement. On top of that, it's great to build lower body power, strength, and stability. It fixes two huge problems for the average person and the average lifter. And so the average lifter will, will have general tightness and general stability weakness if they're not doing split lunges in their program. And the average person is gonna have a lot of tightness and a lot of weakness too because they're not lifting weights. And so the split squat fixes that. I keep switching, I keep saying split squat and split lunge. They're the same thing, so don't get confused YouTube. But the split squat is gonna help you because while one leg is being strengthened and stable, the other leg is actually getting a hip flexor stretch. And as you switch sides, you are both fixing a weakness problem in stability and you're fixing a tightness problem that a lot of lifters and average people have. And so, it's also a great strength builder. You can do it in place of your squat if you're getting bored of your squat. And I always hear people say, you know, well, you can't load it up and you can't go heavy on it. You can go heavy on it. It's just most people are very weak in the movement. Um, maybe I'll show a video of someone doing it very heavy, but this is the video of the most underrated lower body exercise. And I hope you guys get to split squatting. I'll see you next time. Peace.